It opened in April of 2004, and today the sun is shining over Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia as MLB 06 The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Today, game three of this four-game series, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And hi again, everybody, alongside Dave Campbell and the Wonder Dog Rex Hudler. I'm Matt Vaskirchen as we get set to bring you the call on what should be a good one here. And Soup, we turn to you first. What are you going to be keeping an eye on most in this one? Well, when this place opened in 2004, Matt, I don't think anyone expected Citizen Bank to be as great a hitter's park as it turned out to be. I mean, balls just fly out of this place at times, so we could be looking at an offensive explosion in this one. All right, Dave and Huddle join us shortly, but let's get to our New Era cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins align like this. Number 32 leads things off and plays second base. Number 87 bats second, he's at short. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Wes Helms will bat fifth, he's at third base. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Matt Trainer will bat next. Really struggling against right-handed pitching. Something to be aware of. Josh Willingham bats eighth and plays center. Number 71 will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. And they'll be opposed by the veteran right-hander Ryan Franklin. The numbers have not been particularly good for Franklin the past couple of years. A combined 12 wins and 31 losses. He'll try and rebound here. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. Kevin Tyler. And we are underway as the first pitch of the afternoon is taken for ball one. Opposite field to left. And a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Number 87 will step in now. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. I don't think he was expecting the deuce on the first pitch, Matt. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. So a runner at first with one man gone. And here's the young first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Mike Jacobs. And here's the first pitch. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. Swing and a grounder to first. They might get two here. And a mistake here as he's tagged out in no man's land. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies will be as follows. Bobby Abreu will lead things off. He's in right field. Then comes Chase Utley. He'll be at second base. Then it's rookie of the year Ryan Howard over at first base. Free swinging Pat Burrell is next. He'll be out in left field. Number eight bats fifth. He's in center field. Matt Cada bats sixth and plays short. Sal Fasano is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Tomas Perez will hit eighth and play third. Ryan Franklin is on the mound. As you've seen, he will bat ninth. Number 71 will get the ball to face them. Here's a guy that's got enough stuff to get by, but a key is going to be how well he mixes his pitches, and more importantly, his pitch speeds. Once guys lock on, things can get ugly out there. And in the field, Rawlings will show us that the Marlins will align themselves as such. 
Bobby Abreu will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Right fielder, Bobby Abreu. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And if he can spot that pitch there, he's going to have a lot of success in this game. Fouled back. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And that ball's going to land between them. And in fact, will rattle against the wall now. The relay throw. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Chase Utley will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Now the pitch, and he lays off there, 1-0. And he'll throw that screwball to set the pace for an at-bat. Swing and a liner. And Hermito will play this one on the bounce, a base hit. Ryan Howard will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. Fouled straight back. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. A slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning well here you go he thinks it's a little high but from dirt cam it looks pretty good to me Pat Burl will step in and you see by the numbers he's been a much better road hitter thus far and a good idea to hold off on that swing it's ball one the infield's at double play depth here, Matt, as they look for a ground ball to get him out of the inning. Swing and a miss as he gets this fastball by him. It's one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. One one pitch on the way. No contact there, and it's one and two. Pitch is swung on, and let's see if they can get them both here. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. That's a tough pick at first that time, but that's why they got the big mitts over there. Good play. Number eight will get his first shot at it here. Gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Yeah. 
has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And the runner will score from second. Matt Cada will be the batter. And that misses low and away, ball one. Good idea to watch one of those screwballs before trying to swing at it. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing, one and two. Come set, now the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. He's really laboring through a lot of pitches here in the first inning, Matt. And he takes a strike three called on the screwball, and that's how the inning will end. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. Miguel Cabrera will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. And there's ball one. A few more inches in, and that's a pitch he'll turn on. Two and one. Now here's a ball heading for the right field corner. This has the distance, and it stays fair. Home run. Number 31 for him on the season. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. Well, Matt, this new Philadelphia ballpark became quite a launching pad in its first year of existence as the ball really seems to carry here. That's just another example. Wes Helms steps in now. Outing fifth. Third baseman, Wes Helms. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. No outs, nobody on. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And this starts out right at his hip and stays inside. And this one is over and he works the count back to two and two. Two-two pitch on the way. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Jeremy Hermida will be next. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Jeremy Hermida stands in now, and you see he's been hot of late, hitting in 10 straight ball games now.
Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And he'll try to lock him up with that down and in to keep him from getting extended. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Oh, and it's over his head. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. Matt Trainer will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month. Fastball in there for a called strike. And right on it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Hard hit to third. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Josh Willingham will get his first cuts here. Josh Willingham. From the belt, kicks and deals. Low for ball one. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Number 71 will get his first opportunity now. And this is fouled straight back. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Outside, 2-1. And that's a sign of maturity not to go after that pitch. And a split finger pitch runs in on him, and that'll back him off the plate. Boy, and you don't want to waste a lot of pitches on the opposing pitcher. Mm, he's going to make him throw him something here. Three and two now. Oh, and now at least that runner on first will be able to get a head start here. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied 2-2. Sal Fasano will start things off in the bottom of the second. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Tomas Perez will dig in. A switch hitter batting right. Tomas Perez! In there, strike one. Let's see if he'll nibble at the corners here once he gets ahead. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. 
And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two gone. Ryan Franklin digs in at the plate. And this is low, ball one. Good discipline there. Now the 1-0 pitch. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Here's a ground ball to first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. Through two here at the ballpark, and we are tied 2-2. Number 32 is ready to go here as we begin the third. Kevin Tyler. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. And that'll fall in between them. Number 87 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. Just no way to even try and get extended on that fastball down there. And he misses with it, one and one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And this ball will be chopped. Foul. Now a ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. Over to Howard, and indeed they get them both. He needed a ground ball here, and he got one. A quick little 4-6-3 will get him a couple there. Mike Jacobs will get another shot. He hit into a double play as last time. Now the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Home half of the third coming up, all even at 2-2. Two and two. Bobby Abreu makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Bobby Swinging a tapper out in front. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. And that's by him. It's 0-1. And the pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike.
Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. Swing and a miss. Looked like the screwball there. Two gone. Ryan Howard will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. Here's the pitch. And he takes ball one. Now pitch swung on in line softly to short. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. We'll see Miguel Cabrera leading off when we get back. Three innings complete, and we are tied 2-2. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Miguel Cabrera. Here's the first pitch to him. Right there for strike one. Ball one. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Aboard with a leadoff single. And the way things are shaping up, they're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Wes Helms will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Jeremy Hermida will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. First pitch on the way. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh Matt, when you establish an off-speed pitch first, now you can go anywhere. And that misses downstairs for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. Misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Matt Trainer is on deck. Stopped by the post office to get stamps on the way to mailing in that swing. It's three and two now. And keep an eye on those runners. Don't know if they'll be moving with none out, but you never know. Full count pitch on its way. Fouled back. Got him. Matt Trainer will dig in. 0 for 1 Matt in the ballgame. Matt Trainer. And oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. one -oh on the way. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. A 
Abreu is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Josh Willingham will dig in here. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. This pitcher's been around long enough to know better than the leave pitches there. From the stretch. Really using that slider to his advantage in this at-bat. It's 0-2. Swing and a shot towards second. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied 2-2. Pat Burrell will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. And this ball's pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. And that's off the left field wall. Around first, digging for two now. Number eight will stand in. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And he lays off for ball one. No one out with a runner at second. Now the one and one pitch. And he lays off for a ball two and one. And when guys get tired, they have a tendency to start leaving that pitch up. Got to be careful. Hit on the ground is shortstop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Matt will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Ball one. Well, I think that batter just got a gift right there to begin the at-bat. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. From the belt, the pitch reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Sal Fasano will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month. First pitch coming. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. Long run, but he gets there to track this one down and a very nicely recorded out number three. So no runs here on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied 2-2. Number 71 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Brandon Walsh.
the pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. One oh pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. 2-0. Oh. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. Two oh on the way. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Boy, and that's the pitcher up there. You've got to throw strikes here. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Number 32 will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. And that's in there for strike one. And a changeup runs in on him, and he's got a duck out of the way. And he's starting to get up there in pitches now, worth keeping an eye on. One one pitch is a splitter, cold strike two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Number 87 will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Jose Alves. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Yeah, let that thing go. Still got a couple more strikes to play with. And the curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind, nothing in two. And a split finger pitch runs in on him, and that'll back him off the plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball, and where did that miss? Two and two. Yeah, and most hitters will leave that one be. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line, and that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. He's around first on his way to second now, but he is in there. Well, there's a few zeros up on the scoreboard since that two-run second inning. So now we'll see if they can cash in here. Mike Jacobs will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. And this one runs up high. Ball one. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leaving pitches up. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Miguel Cabrera will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Yeah. 
And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 now. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Two zero is a fastball, not close. He's behind three and zero now. Wes Helms would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Comes with a slider, three and zero, but gets it over for strike one. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Wes Helms will take his cuts now. Wes Helms. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Pause, now the pitch. And a split finger pitch runs in on him, and that'll back him off the plate. Matt, his pitch count's up over 75, so you have to figure they're going to start keeping closer tabs on him. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Needs one more big pitch here. Does he have it in him? Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Swing and a ball pulled down the line at third, but foul. Now the 2-2 pitch. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. Number eight is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Marlins leave all three. We've hit the halfway point, tied at two. Tomas Perez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Tomas Perez. First pitch coming. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Yeah, with a few pitches to play with, let's see if they get him to chase something here. Now the pitch. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Outside, two balls and two strikes the count now. Change up, swung on and missed for the first down. David Bell will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Bobby Abreu will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. And he looks at the screwball that's over for strike one. Right side of the infield's wide open here for Abreu.
He's ready now. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Fouled straight back. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Chase Utley will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. And the runner will score from first. And he will score on the inside the park home run. And that was a gift right there. Ryan Howard will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And the pitch. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Pat Burrell will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And that's an indication of why he's been struggling on the mound this half inning. That pitch is right down Broadway. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Good eye. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Phillies on top, four to two. Number 44 will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 44, Julio Santana. Jeremy Hermida will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Here it comes. One and one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Now a ball chopped up the line to first. And this is going to be a foul ball. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Payoff pitch coming. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now 
Now a swing and a ground ball. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Matt Trainer will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. The next pitch. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that's through. A base hit. But he'll be in there easily. Josh Willingham will step in. One for two in the ball game. Swing and a ball hit to the left side. And this is going to wind up a souvenir. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. And, and down 0-2 at the plate. Can't try to do too much here. Just try and shorten up that swing and go the other way if you have to. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. None out. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss on the slider. And that's out number one. Lenny Harris will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Marlins. Number 10, Lenny Harris. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. and And the infield's all set to play the bunch. Should this guy get one down? A swing, and he pops him up. On the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect. Kada is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Number 32 will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And out of here! Home run number five on the year as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Three runs already home here. Here comes the 2-0. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. Now he's got to protect the outer half with two strikes. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. Florida's out in front, five to four. Greg no, Bataluco is on, and he'll take over on the now mound. For the Marlins, number 99, Greg Bataluco. Number eight will dig in, one Florida. for two with a double in this one.
Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Oh, a tough play. Throw, got him. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Matt Cada will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. In there, a base hit. Sal Fasano will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And, oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. The 1-0 pitch. Now a swing, and there's a ball hit high in the air, deep to straightaway center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And that'll get over the wall, so the runner will have to hold up at third. Well, the fact this ball hops over the wall might have cost him a run is with this guy's speed at first base, he might have made it all the way around. Tomas Perez will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Swing and a high drive, deep left field. Should stay in the ballpark. Cabrera is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And not in time as the run scores. Randy Messenger will come in and pitch now. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 23, Randy Messenger. Jimmy Rollins will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And shooting for the Phillies, number 11, Jimmy Rollins. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Two well count, the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Two out here and a runner at second. Two one pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. Now at two two you don't need a strikeout. Just make sure as a pitcher that he hits your pitch. Swing hard liner to left center, and that's gonna get down out there. And now it'll rattle up against the wall, and the runner is in from second. The relay, and he is in there with an RBI triple. And Matt, I know from experience that coming off the bench in a pressure situation is extremely difficult. But he comes through and gives his club the lead. Bobby Abreu will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. Well, let's see how they approach this next guy now, Matt. Chase Utley will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Hit hard to third. 
He dives and makes a phenomenal catch as he takes away a run for sure, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We're through six full. Philadelphia's on top, six to five. Robinson Tejada will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 50, Robinson Tejada. Mike Jacobs trying to keep it up as you see that he's really turned it on here this month. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Number eight is there, and he has it for the first out. Miguel Cabrera will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Swung on and popped sky high to the right side of the infield. Utley is underneath this one. And that's out number two. Great job so far of coming in and getting the first two outs late in the game. Wes Helms will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Ooh, might be only 23, but he's got poise out there beyond his years. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Two out, nobody on. the pitch shooting for the outside corner but he missed it one and two good idea trying to work the outside part of the plate with the hard stuff now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and no one left. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. Phillies lead this one 6-5. to five. Ryan Howard will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Ryan Howard. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Get on base, buddy. Outside for a ball, one and one. Wing, hard hit ball to second. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Pat Burrell will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. Swing and a fly ball right down the line and left. Right there is Cabrera. And he's got it for out number two. Number eight will get another crack. One for three thus far. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. Matt Kata will get another crack, one for three thus far.
And this is fouled straight back. He's set, now the pitch. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. A couple of guys on base here as they look to perhaps get a few insurance runs here in the late innings. Sal Fasano will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Boy, tough pitch right out of the chute in this at bat. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Two men are on with two men out. In there, one and two now. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Phillies leave a couple as it remains a 6-5 ball game. Royce Ring is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. Jeremy Hermida. And this is hit well towards the hole. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Chris Aguila will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number three, Chris Aguila. Here's the first offering. And that misses for ball one. Boy, he got the benefit of the doubt at the plate that time. That looked pretty good. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. And, oh. and in a close ball game, I think you let him throw you one here. And that misses as well, 3-0. and oh. This is a guy you don't need to get cute with up there. Just go right after him. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And this guy might not strike fear into anyone's heart, but be careful here, three and one. Here he comes, three one. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And it drifted on him a bit, but he's able to hang in there and put it away. Hanley Ramirez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number two. Just got a piece of it as this is chopped foul to the backstop. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. Now the pitch. And there's ball two now. And they're likely not to give in to this guy and let the pitcher in the on-deck circle try and swing the bat. Slice down the line at first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and no one left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Phillies on top, six to five.
Number 70 is up off the bench as he is in as a defensive replacement. Number 70. Tomas Perez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. Mike Lieberthal will stand in for the first time here. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Number 70 calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Boy, left that fastball up that time, but he got away with it and got him to fly out. Bobby Abreu will get another crack. One for three thus far. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Got to bend the knees and go down and get that one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. What a stop. Throw, got him. What a play as the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and none left. Ninth inning coming up. Last chance for romance. The Phillies lead it 6-5. to five. Your attention, Save situation coming up, so making his way in is the veteran right-hander Flash Gordon. Pokey Reach will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 11, Pokey Reach. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Wow, Flash has literally built his career off that great curveball. That's nasty. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. No need to panic down 0-2. Just need to focus on making a little contact. And the pitch. And he looks at a ball 1-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Number 32 will stand in now. Three hits, including a homer for him in this one. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Looking for that corner, but he's just missing. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Three and oh. Boy, and this is not a guy to dilly-dally with. They need to go right after him. Swinging a ball popped high in the air, heading for foul territory behind first. Two away. Number 87 will try it again. He homered back in the sixth inning. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0.
Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Number eight is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Whoa, I thought he had it for a second, but he just got under it a little too much. What a way to end this one, though. So, guys, it's a victory here for the Phillies, and Dave, let's go back and have a look at our majestic play of the game. Matt, we'll get another look here. You see him make pretty solid contact with this one. It's going to wind up rolling all around the outfield out there as he chugs in with an RBI triple. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of guys deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run. And he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score. The Phillies win this one 6-5. to five. This has been a presentation of MLB 06, the show. For more, log on to MLB06.com. So long, everybody.